guys. Happy Saturday. All right. So we're going to get you going again today. Today we have a little bit of, uh, of pushing and kind of getting those shoulders going. So we're going to do a nice little warm up for those pecs, triceps, and then your forearms as well because you'll be on your hands a little bit today. So first move we're going to do is for the pecs. All I want you to do is find a door jam or a door frame, whatever, looking to ha have that arm at 90 degrees. And then I want you to step your body through, get that little press. And we're looking for a little bit of a stretch through the shoulder right there. Okay. So looking to hold that. Let's make sure we kind of keep that shoulder blade pulled down. We have a tendency to kind of push through and then roll the shoulder over the top. And that's really hard on that shoulder joint. So let's try and keep that shoulder blade down into the back pocket and then press that through. Hold that for 30 seconds. Okay. After that, we have a little bit of tricep work. So you're going to take one arm, you're going to press that arm up onto the rig, and then I want you to kind of hollow those ribs a little bit, and then just press your body through, and we should get a nice little stretch going up into that, uh, into that tricep there, okay? You're going to hold that for about 30 seconds aside as well. And then lastly, we have a little bit of forearm work, and just because we'll be on the hands, we want to make sure that those wrists don't bug us too much, okay? So... I want you to make your hands as big as you can. Really try and push those middle knuckles down onto the floor. And then I just want you to do a little circles back and forth around, okay? So I want you to do about five each direction, okay? And then once you get five each direction there, we're gonna turn your fingers to face back and then you'll, you'll kind of sit back around and sit onto your heels and come through as well, okay? So about five aside on this as well, okay? That should get everything nice and warmed up. You're probably wondering why I have my phone on me the entire time here. It's because I'm setting a PR for the most time spent on hold this week, all right? So I'm not losing my spot in line, and uh, I don't think you'd want to as well, all right? So we're going to get going here. Chris is going to jump in frame, and then we'll go through these movements for our warm-up first, okay? So first thing we're going to start off with, we do have a little bit of, uh, of core pressing today, so we're going to start off with just clamshell sit-ups, okay? He's going to be on his back here, feet sole to sole, knees splayed out as far as comfortable, okay? And then he's going to use his arms to kind of throw himself back up. We really want to let those ribs open up and kind of let that back open up on the, on the ground. And then sitting all the way up nice and tall and then touching the toes at the top, okay? Second movement we have is actually going to be the challenge of the week, okay? This is the teacup, all right? So... You are going to take this teacup, you are going to pull it back into your armpits, and then you're gonna twist your elbow around, press it back, go around the side, all the way up, and back in front, okay? This is a great warm up to try and get your shoulders nice and warm. It takes your shoulder joint through all the, 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 the possible range of motion, plus it's a little bit fun, right? So if you wanna increase the risk, then you fill it up with really hot water, but do you, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't suggest it, but uh, it's gonna tell you if you do it wrong real quick, all right? So you're doing 10 per side on those teacups, all right? And the last movement for our warm up is going to be a 20 second plank, all right? So all we're looking to do is push that rib cage down into the hips again, squeeze the butt, and then try and make sure you got more or less a straight line going down your back into your heels, okay? For all their 20 seconds, we're gonna go through those three movements for three rounds, okay? Try and keep on moving. You're not trying to set any world records, but we do wanna try and get that heart rate up, get the blood flowing a little bit, okay? So now we'll get you into the wad. There are four movements today. The first movement is a basic hand release push up. Now, in my opinion, the hand release push up at high volume is way worse than handstand push up, so this is gonna be a bit of a sleeper. So you're gonna go down, chest down to the floor, pull your hands off, push back up, okay? Come back down again, Chris. Now you'll notice that his knees are off the floor, okay? This is really crucial to make this movement more difficult. If you let your knees touch the floor and push back up, you're gonna to tend to have a bit of a worm, okay? So let's try and keep that as strict as possible, all right? Some variations for that is just a knee push up, so leaving your knees on the floor, but you're still doing the basic hand release movement, okay? So there's our first movement. From there, we're gonna go into a static inchworm, all right? So your feet are going to stay planted the entire time. Hands are gonna go onto the floor. You wanna try and keep your knees as straight as you can without kind of making your hamstrings cry, all right? And then you're gonna walk your hands out, and I want you to go into the longest plank you feel comfortable, but still keeping that neutral spine, and then pull yourself back up to that top position, and there's one. Back out, hit that long plank position, back in, there's two, all right? So if you're getting tired just going through these, feel free to stand up, take a breath, and then go back down. 
but between reps, try your best to keep your head down and then just keep on moving in and out, all right? Now, from there, we go into our hollow rock, all right? A couple of days ago, we talked about the hollow position. Now, we're just going to make this movement a bit, bit more dynamic, okay? So, first thing we're going to do, pushing that rib cage down towards the pelvis, trying to squish that low back on the floor. We're going to crunch our shoulders and chest up off the floor a little bit. Arms going to reach up and back. And then legs are going to reach out in front, nice locked knees, straight, uh, nice locked pointed toes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rock back onto the shoulder blades and then up onto the tailbone, okay? Now, as you're going through this, there should be no change in this shape, okay? So it shouldn't be like a, a leg raise. It should be your entire body moves together like a banana rocking back and forth, okay? If you do this right, super tough movement. If you do it wrong, you're going to feel like your hip flexors are doing a lot more work and then it's kind of losing a lot of the effectiveness of the exercise, okay? Now, for the extra added spice, we're gonna go right into 10 V sit-ups as our last movement for this, uh, this uh, Metcon today. So, we're gonna start in our reached out position, both arms back overhead, and then we're going to try and bring everything up into a pike position to touch and then back down and together, all right? So, if you feel like this is just an impossibility, whether you just have like really long legs or really short arms or just not a very strong core, it happens to all of us, the options are really just going to be trying to get your elbows to your knees, okay? So, there's going to be like a little bit of like a, like a, like a partial sit-up. Chris's abs are getting so tired right now. This is great. He works out all the time. All right, so those are the four movements for today. We are going through this for 15 minutes, okay? So, that's going to be 10 hand release push-ups. 10 static inchworms, 10 hollow rocks, and 10 V-sit ups. And that should get you guys good and uh, fuego in the old abdominus. Okay? So have yourselves a fantastic day. Remember, stay happy, stay healthy, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.